Soldiers from 121 Infantry Regiment and Republic of Korea, or ROC Army soldiers from 56th Battalion, 9th Infantry Regiment, conducted a combined tank live fire training mission at Rodriguez Multipurpose Range Complex. This training, as part of the annual Full Eagle exercise, helps each soldier better understand how it might be if brought into combat with supporting partnered countries such as the Republic of Korea. First Lieutenant Goon Peel Park, the Korean tank commander, explains his confidence in working with the American troops. We can tell that at squad level and platoon level, the U.S. and Korean Army can successfully defeat the enemies if we have any problems. The combined forces executed technical and tactical skills in an effort to defend against a simulated enemy attack by bounding the American mobile gun system variant of the striker vehicle and the Korean K-1 tank down the lane to destroy each target. Being able to talk with each other through translators while integrating communication systems, the soldiers are able to successfully complete each iteration. Captain Todd Stanford, commander for Bravo Company 52nd Infantry Regiment, explains the outcome of the combined training. It showed that we uh, can work well together even though we don't speak the same language, but we know the same tactics. And, and it was proof today as we move around the battlefield smoothly and effectively just how uh, well that we work together and how we still stand beside each other here uh, in South Korea. Training events like this not only shows our combined warfighting capabilities, it strengthens the bond between the United States Army and our strategic partners. Reporting from Rodriguez Live Fire Training Complex, South Korea, I'm Specialist Brian Figalist.